Good day, grade 8 learners. We are back. In this video, we are going to learn factoring difference of two squares. Here's what we need. Something to write on, a notebook or a paper, and something to write with, a pen or a pencil. Now to maximize your learning, you could pause and replay this video as needed. Once again, welcome to DepEd Cebu City. Mathematics 8, Quarter 1, Module 1, Factoring. Lesson 2, Factoring the Difference of Two Squares. Here's what you need to know. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to identify expressions factorable by difference of two squares and factor difference of two squares completely. What's in? Here is a list of the first 15 perfect squares. Let us familiarize them. X squared is equal to 1. How did we get that? We could multiply 1 2 times. 1 times 1 is equal to 1. 2 squared is equal to 4. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. 3 squared is equal to 9. 3 times 3 is equal to 9. 4 squared is equal to 16. 5 squared is equal to 25. 6 squared is equal to 36. 7 squared is equal to 49. 8 squared is equal to 64. 9 squared is equal to 81. 10 squared is equal to 100. 11 squared is equal to 121. And 12 squared is equal to 144. Now, can you give the answer to the last three? 13 squared is equal to? Good job! It's 169. 14 squared is equal to? That's right, 196. And of course, 15 squared is equal to 225. That's good! What's new? Now before we begin, please get your paper and pen. Directions. Match the factors in column A with the products in column B. Write the letter before the number. You can use FOIL method. Let's go to number 1. The quantity of x minus 2 times the quantity of x plus 2. Using the FOIL method, x times x is x squared. x times 2 is 2x. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. Combining like terms, the answer is, that is right, letter D, x squared minus 4. Let's go to number 2. The quantity of x minus 1 times the quantity of x plus 1. There you go, using the FOIL method. And then, combining like terms, the answer is x squared minus 1. Good job! Let's go to number 3. The difference and the sum of x and 3. Using the FOIL method, x times x is x squared x times 3 is 3x, negative 3 times x is negative 3x, and negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. Combining like terms, the answer is letter A. Nice one! Let's go to number 4. The difference and the sum of x and 6. Combining like terms? Good job! The answer is the letter B, x squared minus 36. 
Now let's go to the last number. The difference and the sum of x and 5. Good job! The answer is a letter E. x squared minus 25. If you got all the five items correctly, you did a good job. If you want to review further, please pause and replay this video as much as you need it. What is it? Mastery on the perfect square of a number is very important in learning the new technique in factoring polynomials, which is the difference of two squares. Recall that the quantity of x minus 2 times the quantity of x plus 2 is equal to x squared minus 4 by BPM or distributive property of multiplication or FOIL method which is first, outer, inner, last. This time, you are going to do the reverse. What is the difference of two squares? The difference of two squares are two terms that are squared and separated by a subtraction sign like this. Look at my pointer. A squared minus B squared. It can be factored into A squared minus B squared is equal to the quantity of A plus B times the quantity of A minus B. There are conditions to be followed. Condition number one, it must be a binomial, meaning there are two terms. Both terms must be perfect squares, meaning that you could take the square root and they would come out evenly. And condition number three, there must be a subtraction or negative sign in between them. Take for example, x squared minus 25. Is it a binomial? Yes, it is. There are two terms. Both terms are perfect squares? Yes, it is. The square root of x squared is x and the square root of 25 is 5. And is there a subtraction sign? Yes, there is. Good job! Now, let's factor out difference of two squares. Example number 1. Factor x squared minus 25. Step 1. Check for common factors. x squared minus 25 has no common factor. Step 2. Check the given if it satisfies the three conditions. Condition 1. There are two terms. Correct. Condition 2. They are perfect squares. And they are. Condition 3, there is a subtraction or a negative sign. That's it. We can proceed to step number 3. Let us find the square of the first term and the second term. The square root of x squared is x and the square root of 25 is 5. Good job! And lastly, let us follow the pattern a squared minus b squared is equal to the quantity of a minus b times the quantity of a plus b. And therefore, x squared minus 25 is equal to x plus 5 quantity times the quantity of x minus 5. Now let's go to example number 2. Factor 3x squared minus 75. Step number 1, check for common factors. 3x squared, the prime factors are 3 times x times x. 75, the prime factors are 3 times 5 times 5. And so their GCF is 3 and 3x squared minus 75 is equal to 3 times the quantity of x squared minus 25. Now let us check x squared minus 25. Does it satisfy the three conditions? You can replay this video. Or, let's do this. Number one, is it a binomial? Yes, it is. 
Number two, are they perfect squares? Yes, they are. Number three, is it a subtraction? Yes, it is a subtraction. And we can proceed to step number three. Let us get the square of the first term and the second term. And there you go. X and 5. Now let's proceed to step number 4. Following the pattern, A squared minus B squared is equal to the quantity of A minus B times the quantity of A plus B. And so therefore, 3 times the quantity of X squared minus 25 is equal to 3 times the quantity of x plus 5 times the quantity of x minus 5. Way to go, guys! What's more? This time, it's your turn. Activity 1.2. Complete me. Complete the table by identifying the following polynomials are factorable by the difference of two squares or not. Provide what is asked in each column. The first one is done for you. The first column contains the polynomials. The second column contains yes or no. Whether the following polynomials are factorable by the difference of two squares or not. Column 3 contains the square root of the first term. Column 4 contains the square root of the second term. And column 5 are the factors of your polynomials. Okay, let's have example number 1. P squared minus Q squared. Is it factorable by the difference of two squares? Let's find out. Are there two terms? Yes. Are they perfect squares? P squared and Q squared? Yes. Is there a subtraction sign? Yes, it does. Now, what is the square root of P squared? It is P. What is the square root of the second term, which is P, which is Q squared, is Q. And the factors go by the form, the quantity of A plus B times the quantity of A minus B. Therefore, P plus Q and P minus Q. Again, P plus Q, P minus Q. All right, it's your turn. There are... 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Nine numbers left. Again, please pause and replay this video as needed. And of course, please pass your work on time. Give me a thumbs up. That's it. Good job. What you need to remember that the difference of two squares are two terms that are squared and separated by a subtraction sign like this a squared minus b squared and can be factored into the quantity of a minus b times the quantity of a plus b and that difference of two squares can be factored only when it is a binomial and there is a minus sign in between them. Alright! In times of profound change, the learners inherit the earth, while the learned find themselves beautifully equipped to deal with a world that no longer exists. So, don't resist change. Instead, continue learning to adapt to change. Once again, this is your teacher, Miss Mary-Kate. Keep on learning and have a bountiful day.